March Madness 2015 and out of the South region on day two of the Sweet 16. We have the number 11 seeded UCLA Bruins versus the number two seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs. And this game was kind of close in the first half. Gonzaga was in control. UCLA would fight back and Gonzaga actually had a double digit lead but UCLA brought it back to within seven going into halftime with the score 35-28. Then in the second half, UCLA started off strong. They had a 6-0 run to begin the second half. They brought the game to within one point, but then Gonzaga went off on a 12-0 run, and they just were in control from there on out. They're in the driver's seat, and they wouldn't let off the gas as they coasted to the victory as they end up winning the game by 12 points with the final score 74-62. Bulldogs over the Bruins. So the Bulldogs are moving on to the Elite Eight in the South region. They will be waiting to see who wins between Duke and Utah, and that will be their opponent on Sunday in the Elite Eight. But as for this game, both teams were struggling from downtown as the Bruins only shot 23.1% from three-point land, and the Bulldogs only shot 15.8% from beyond the arch. So how did the Bulldogs win? Well, they won with free throws. They were driving the paint. They shot 73.9% from the free throw line versus just 63.6% .6 for the Bruins. They made 10 more free throws, 17 of 23 versus just 7 of 11. And they were crashing the boards hard. They had 50 rebounds versus just 39 for UCLA. So they out-rebounded them on the offensive and defensive glass. They were getting some good ball movement. UCLA was playing as hard as they could, but the Gonzaga Bulldogs are just too deep. Their bench scored 18 points in this game versus just two points for the Bruins bench. And a big part of that for the Bulldogs was DeMontis Sabonis, who had 12 points and eight rebounds off the bench. So just two boards shy of a double-double off the bench. And Draganis had four points and six boards, two assists, a steal, and a block off the bench as well. And McClellan had two points and three boards. So they're crashing the boards really hard. Kyle Wiltshire had eight points, ten rebounds, four assists, one steal, and a block. He was just two points shy, one bucket shy, the double double. And Karnowski had 18 points, nine boards, and two assists, and two blocks. So he was just one board shy, the double double. Ryan Wesley had 14 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 assists. Kevin Paganos, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 steals. And to round out the starting, 5 Gary Bell Jr. had 6 points and 2 assists. So 3 of the starting 5 for the Bruins in double digits. And they almost had 2 of their starters get double doubles as Wiltshire was 1 bucket shy and Karnowski was 1 rebound shy of that feat respectively. And for UCLA, they had three starters in double digits. They actually almost had all five starters score in double digits as Looney was one point shy and Alford was two points shy of that mark. And Tony Parker did have a double-double in the losing effort. 16 points, 11 rebounds, one steal, and a block. Looney almost had a double-double as well with nine points and eight boards, one assist, one steal, and one block. So it's one point, two boards shy. But it wouldn't be enough against the powerful Gonzaga Bulldogs as they are moving on to the Elite Eight, as we said, and they will be facing either Duke or Utah, depending on the outcome of that game later on tonight. So we'll keep you updated on that. But as for this game, Gonzaga wins with the final score. Gonzaga 74, UCLA 62.